Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at these two, well, um, boxed copies of Windows related stuff. So we've got um, Windows 98 and the plus pack for Windows 98. You can all Windows 3.1 hiding over there in the corner. I was doing a video on that a bit earlier on. So, um, let's actually have a look around this box. Now this is in pretty good condition, considering its age. Um, I mean, I think there's, on one of them, there's a bit of a rip, but that's about it, really. Uh, so, oh gosh, you can see here. Improve and expand your PC experience with Windows 98. Oh dear. <laughs> well, I seem to remember, actually, oh, new hardware found. I seem to remember, actually, there was a, a video clip on YouTube of, um, well, it was um, a very long time ago when they were developing Windows 98, uh, when it was still known as Memphis, uh, which was its code name. They were actually testing out, I think it was its driver capabilities, because they plugged uh, a USB drive into it, I think, um, or a floppy drive or something. And it was demonstrating its plug and play abilities, uh, and well basically it screwed up a bit um, and it came up with a blue screen of death so that was fun I'm sure they were all overjoyed when that happened but yeah oh crikey I mean this one is in very nice condition so let's just open this up and have a look at what's lurking around inside so the same with Windows 3.1 we've got a cardboard thing we get this cardboard thing out, if it will come out, there we are, right, now I haven't actually opened this one yet so this should be interesting, here is the cardboard thing, right so here is the CD and if we get this out here we can see that that is in pretty good condition and there's no scratches on the back either. Not going to show it all the way around because I don't want people seeing my face. Right, and here is the getting started manual for Windows 98. A, a lot thinner than the Windows 3.1 manual. That weighs about half a ton. Um, oh dear. <laughs> it's all in black and white as well. Did I just see uninstalling Windows 98? Yeah, there it is. Uninstalling Windows 98. I wonder how on earth you'd do that. Oh, that's downgrading to Windows 95 or 3.1. Right, so I'll put that over there. Help us help you. And that's the register now thing. I wonder if you still have to do it through the post. No, obviously not. Oh, but you can do it through the post if you'd like to. There is the registration card. Oh gosh, I'm still so tempted to send this through the post and see what happens. I don't think I should though. You can see all the old diagrams on there and everything. Oh, that is so tempting. I really want to put that through the post. You'll probably get a very angry letter back from Microsoft if you did that. Um, Windows 3.5 inch disk offer. How to order your Windows 98 3.5 disk kit. Let's see. Oh, this one is another one with the letter thing on it. Oh, there we are. Only thing is, is the United Kingdom on this one? No. Well, that's annoying. They haven't got the United Kingdom on their phone number list. Right. Um, and here is another thing as well. Oh, that's language support, I think, yes. And keyboard support. Oh, 
upgrading from Windows 95 on the pack there. What is this? Microsoft subsidiary information. Oh, there's the United Kingdom. Oh, there's their address on it anyway. And here is the warranty. That literally no one ever read, so they're always in good condition. Oh, Josh. I mean, this one's like a newspaper. It's got all the different languages in there as well. Right, so I think that's basically it for that one. Let's pack this all away now and uh, have a look at the plus pack for Windows 98, which is sitting over there. Right, so let's have a look around this one now. So we've got quite a nice title on the front there. And we've got a little bit of a rip up here, but that doesn't matter too much. It's got a nice side banner there. Um, around the back here, we've got a little uh, description of what this is. So basically, well, Microsoft Plus 98 was just a thing which added enhancements, uh, like new themes, um, another CD player, and a few other applications as well. So, yeah, I mean, it's got McAfee Virus Scan. Provides complete desktop protection with a powerful array of scanning features. Wow. Oh, gosh, look at that. Well, we will actually have a look at it because what I plan to do is make a Windows 98 virtual machine, then actually, from the physical disk drive, install this onto it. So that should be fun. You can see the system requirements there as well. Oh wow. Pentium 90 or higher processor. 16 megs of RAM. 100 to 150 megabytes of available hard disk space. Well, that's depending on the components that you install anyway. So I believe that's enough of looking at the back. Let's actually have a look at what's inside. Hmm cardboard there. Doesn't matter too much though. So here is another cardboard thing. Now let's open it up. So oh, straight away I can see that this is a lot smaller than the Windows 98 um, copy. We have a same leaflet in there as well. Here is the old CD. Oh dear. Help us help you. And this is the registration form. That's still sealed, so I'll leave it as it is. subsidiary information ah there's the United Kingdom's one I wonder if you could phone them up and say I'd like a refund on my Microsoft Plus 98 thing right so here is the warranty as well which is very long and it's also made of newspaper like the one out of the Windows 98 box and that is it so I believe now we can turn to the virtual machine and actually have a look at what this was like and have a look at the uh, geriatric version of McAfee virus scan which should be fun um, so I'll just pack this away and then we can get on with it